This is Ben McGahee with Miami Chess. I'm going to be your math teacher today. Miami Chess is a math learning aid based on classic chess that helps students in math and science education for school. In this lesson, we will learn about solving linear equations in the form ax plus b equals c. And we have a, b, and c. These are real numbers. And a the value of a cannot equal 0. So the values for b and c could be 0. One of them or both could be 0, but as long as a is not 0, then this is what we have. It was called a linear equation. Now we're going to look at two important properties in this lesson that will help us solve these types of linear equations. We have first the addition property of equality. And what that says is that if you have two numbers, if a equals b, then we have a plus c equals b plus c. So that means we can take either a positive or a negative number. So we can either add or subtract the number c to both sides, and then we maintain um, the equation. We keep it in balance. So remember, if you're adding, subtracting C on this side, you also have to add or subtract C to that side to keep the balance in the equation. The second property that we're going to look at is multiplication property of equality. And that states, and if A equals B, then A times C equals B times C. So that means we can take a positive or negative number, c to both sides, and multiply it. Multiply it to both sides. So if you multiply c here on the left side, make sure you multiply the same number c to the right side to keep the equation balanced. These are two important properties that will help us solve linear equations. So let's look at a couple of um, basic examples where we have the addition property of equality. And let's just say we have x plus 3 um, equals 8. And we want to solve for x. So to get x by itself, we have to um, do something to both sides of the equation to get rid of this value of 3. We have to get this 3 to the other side with the 8. So the way um, I like to see it, and I think many other students see it when they solve these types of equations, is that whatever operation you see, which is addition, you're going to think the opposite operation and uh, you're going to take the opposite sign which is minus 3 and do that to both sides so you're going to subtract 3 to both sides okay so notice that the 3's are going to cancel out because 3 minus 3 is 0 and then we're just left with x and then this equals, we have 8 minus 3 on the right side. And 8 minus 3 is 5, so x equals 5. So that would be our answer. Okay. So if we want to check to see if this equation is true, what we do is we take the x equals 5 and we plug that back into value of x into our original equation and so we do 5 plus 3 equals 8 and we know 5 plus 3 is 8 so 8 equals 8 and so we know that that's true the equation checks out okay and so likewise, let's look at an example with the multiplication property of equality. 
let's say you have 2x equals negative 6 2x equals negative 6 so this time we have a number 2 multiplied by the variable x which is negative 6 and we need to somehow we need to somehow get that 2 to the other side of the negative 6 so again we look at the operation we see current 2 times x that's like multiplication so what we can do is the opposite operation to both sides so we can divide by 2 to both sides and then notice that the 2 over 2 is 1 so these cancel out and then we're just left with just x equals negative 6 divided by 2 the x equals so negative 6 divided by 2 okay, so negative divided by positive we know will be a negative for our answer so when the signs um, of two numbers are different whether you're multiplying or dividing will always give you negative and if the signs are the same you'll get positive so we know 6 divided by 2 is 3 so x equals 3 Okay, so the way we're going to check this is we're going to plug the value of negative 3 back into x and see if we get negative 6 if we multiply it by 2. So we'll have 2 times negative 3 equals negative 6. We know that 2 times negative, no, 2 times 3 is 6, and since the signs are different, we know it's negative. So negative 6 equals negative 6. So it checks out. Okay. So we saw an example where we had the um, addition property of equality where we had to subtract something to both sides because we saw addition. They did the opposite. And then with the multiplication property of equality, we saw there was multiplication. So we did the opposite and divide a number of both sides to get x by itself. So now let's take a look at a little more challenging example where we have to combine the two properties together or the addition and multiplication properties of equality. So we have solve negative 4x minus 7 equals 25. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of this negative 7 and we want to get it to the other side. And we see that it is a the operation is subtraction, right? So if we do the opposite of subtraction, that would be addition. So the opposite of negative 7 would be positive 7. So we add 7 to both sides. And so negative 7 plus 7 is 0, so those will cancel out. And then we're left with negative 4x equals 25 plus 7. So let's see, so we do 5 plus 7 is 12, carry the 1, so 1 plus 2 is 3, so that would be 32. So we have negative 4x equals 32. And then we're going to try to get the negative 4 to the other side with the 32. So we see that that is the multiplication property of equality. So if we see that this is multiplication, we have to do the opposite operation. That's division. So we'll divide by negative 4 to both sides. So negative 4 over negative 4 is positive 1, so those cancel. And we'll just give us x, and then that equals 32 divided by negative 4. 
so we know the signs are different, so our answer would be negative. And so 32 over 4, that would give us 8. So we have x equals negative 8. Okay. And so in order to check, you know, we have to take our value, right, for negative 8, uh, plug it into the original equation for x. So let's check that really quick. So we have negative 4 times negative 8 minus 7 equals 25. And negative 4 times negative 8, we know negative times negative is positive. So 4 times 8 is 32 minus 7 is 25. And if we do 32 minus 7 on the side over here, subtract. Uh, we can't take 7 from 2, so we borrow. We need 3, a 2. And then it's 2. Add 10 to 2 is 12. And so we have 12 minus 7 is 5. And we know that bring down the 2, so 25. So 25 equals 25. Great. So we know x equals negative 8 is the answer. Okay, so let's go to the you try problems, or you can try these on your own. And I'll give you um, a few minutes to work on those. Feel free to pause the video and make sure you have a piece of paper and pen or pencil handy. And you probably don't need a calculator for these, but um, you can use one if you like, but I'd rather you try to do it by hand. Okay, so let's go over these answers here. So we have the 10x plus 6 equals negative 34. So the first step is to look like subtract uh, 6 to both sides, right? So those will cancel. So we'll have 10x equals negative 34 minus 6. So if we add in two negatives together, we get negative. So that's like 34 plus 6, but with negative, so that's minus 40. And then we divide by 10 on both sides. Cancel. And we still get x equals negative 40 over 10. That's negative 4. And I believe that should be our answer x equals negative 4, right? Okay, and then for the next problem, 5x minus 12 equals 18. And the first step we're going to do is get the negative 12 to the other side, so we're going to add 12 both sides. So the 12's cancel. And we have 5x equals 18 plus 12 that should give us 30 and then we divide by 5 to both sides let's cancel and so we have x equals 30 divided by 5 and that give us 6 so x equals 6 is that right? yep, x equals 6 Okay, last but not least, and number three. Try a different color here. So we negative seven plus nine equals nine. So we're going to subtract the nine to both sides. So the nines cancel. And then we have negative seven 
equals 9 minus 9 is 0. And then the last step is divide by negative 7 to both sides. So those will cancel. And so x equals 0 divided by negative 7. So we know the 0 divided by any other number besides 0 is always going to give you 0. So x equals 0. Is that the answer? Yes, it is. Great. So those are the answers. x equals negative 4, x equals 6, and x equals 0. This has been McGehee, and I want to thank you for watching this lesson on solving linear equations. Please stay tuned for more lessons on yammychess.com. Have a great day.